Hi, this is Matt from The Second Spirit, and I'm going to show you how to figure out what's causing the latency in your project. I got a live set here that with five songs that I play, guitar and stuff, and my guitar has too much latency. It's got like 30 seconds. I'm going to show you how to find out what the latency is coming from, what plugin, and if you need it or not. First thing to do, go up here to Options, turn on Delay Compensation. When you have Delay Compensation on, you could see what is caught, how much latency things are giving. Like if I look at, if I hover over the gate here, in the bottom left, it shows you 1.5 milliseconds of latency. Um, here, effects, I've got 24.1 milliseconds of latency. If you look in the bottom left there. All right, so I know that's a lot of latency. What's it coming from? I can't just, I gotta hover over the effects and try to figure out what it's coming from. So if I hover over in this chain, Let's see, this is 1.9 milliseconds. Guitar rig has zero milliseconds of latency. Uh, hover over here. Let's see, 1.9 milliseconds. Guitar stomp, 22.3. So this, this rack right here is causing a lot of latency. I think it's probably from the pitcher um, in there. I wonder if I could just take that out. Let's see, let's see if this does it. All right, guitar stomp. 10 point seconds. Man, that, that had 10 latency, 10 seconds of latency right in there. Wonder if the Lady D has got latency in there. Let's see if that's, I bet you that's where most of the latency is coming from. No, it's not the Lady D. Uh, it's the doubler. Yeah, it's got to be the doubler. Right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, the doubler was 10 milliseconds latency. Uh, the pitcher was 10 milliseconds. So I took those out, and now this whole rack is going to play at uh, 6.8 milliseconds of latency, which is great. So that's a trick to figure out what, if you're playing live, you want to have it quick and snappy, uh, and you want to figure out if you got something that's causing a lot of latency, you might want to think of ways of taking it out. Um, using delay compensation. What delay compensation does is it lines up all the VSTs to the one with the longest latency so that everything's in sync, um, but it's going to move the project back um, by so many milliseconds. So, All right, now you can just turn off delay compensation and you figured out what is causing the latency in your live set. Isn't that a great, cool tip? Uh, anyway, this is Matt from The Second Spirit. I'm trying to get some live stuff down that's quick, get a nice project with super awesome songs. That's what Ableton's for, so you guys can play live. If you like this video, uh, check out the show notes or the link in my bio for some Ableton freebies. I hope you have a great day. I hope that helps. Take care.